Schwarzenegger for number seven. All right, our top 10 gentlemen on stage. Presenting the 10th place award, representing Amazon Media Group. To have R.C. Casey back on stage. Please take the 10th place award, the check for $16,000, and present it to Cedric McMillan. All right, so Cedric remains among the top 10 in the world. This was not the placing he was looking for, but I can tell you right now, this is a class act, and he is smiling, he gets it, he's gonna move forward, he's gonna win more titles, and Cedric McMillan is a humble, classy champion, and he has respect for the sport, for his family, for himself, and I couldn't say enough good things about what Cedric McMillan represents as a bodybuilder. Even on an off day, Dan, he for still big remains top 10 in the world and that's speaking a lot considering this is a global enterprise nope, stay right there. Nope, go ahead. and he on Excellent. an off day still stays in the top 10. presenting the ninth place award representing amazon sports nutrition Ms. Stefania Ayanon. And please take that ninth place award, the check for $19,000, and present it to the king of the gym, Josh Lenardowitz. All right, Sean, so Josh Lenardowitz is going to check in in the ninth place spot this year. I know he came in looking for better, but then again, all these guys have. Um, I know he worked real hard, traveled a bunch, went through a lot of adversity. He also was very closely connected to the Dallas McCarver um, situation, obviously probably as connected to it as anybody, to be honest with you. He was you know, right alongside Dallas as his roommate, and uh, he's gonna finish ninth, and he's gonna go back to Australia. Congratulations, and I'm sure Josh. he's gonna receive a king's welcome. Because this is a very popular guy over there, and uh, Josh should feel very good award. about his ability to complete his prep, nutrition. get here to the and take a top 10 finish, settling at number nine. And please take the eighth place award, the check for $20,000, and present it to Brandon Curry. The prodigy, Brandon Curry, I think the efforts and the paycheck speak for themselves. He went over to Kuwait, separated himself from his family, won two pro shows, and lands in the top 10 of the Mr. Olympia. This is, is the best year he's had as a professional. I player. think this more than anything kind of showcases just how Brandon. competitive this lineup. Brandon Curry was exceptional here at the Olympia. And for him to Presenting bring the, the package that he brought and to only Amazon be good enough for an eight-place spot just kind of shows you Land how Land. stacked we are in this, Absolutely. In this division. And please take the seventh place award, the check for $25,000, and present it to Nathan Diasha. Nathan comes all the way from the UK. A year ago was out of the top 10, and here he is. All right, so, and then there were six, and uh, I want to warn everybody, after we make the announcement, of the sixth place finisher, we are going to take a quick break. You're not going to miss any of the action as it plays out on stage, but we are going to take a quick break for a word from our sponsors before we announce the top Amazon five. Sports Nutrition, Ms. Erin Blevins. Please take the sixth place award, the check for $35,000, and present it to. Rolly Winkler, I believe, Dan. Rolly Winkler! Uh, Rolly Winkler takes the sixth place spot. That is now his highest Olympia showing. A strong Olympia here in 2017 for Rolly Winkler. Brings more muscle than just about anybody. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a big time Olympia for Rolly Winkler. And I think this is a spot that he's been looking for for a long time. And there wasn't a physique for him to compare to in that lineup. So sixth place is a victory for him. You want to find out who's in the top five at the Olympia? Who wins Thank the you Olympia? Really. You're gonna have to wait, and we're back after the break. All right, folks, we are. Are we ready, gentlemen? I'm doing this, so get ready for it. Wow, what a performance. 
This changes everything. Let's get this party started. here at the Orleans Arena for the moment that bodybuilding fans await all year round the crowning of a new Mr. Olympia. And we're gonna find out who that's going to be, whether or not it is in fact a new Mr. Olympia or whether Phil Heath is able to retain the title. We're gonna learn that in just a moment as Bob Ciccarello announces the fifth place finisher on down. And uh, this is a moment that has met with more anticipation than I think we expected because Mom right, Duels Baye, all, right, all the way from the Kuwait, came to Vegas, gunning for Phil Heath, he's done the work. And we're gonna find out what uh, head judge Steve Weinberger has to say about this Thank you, Bob. as he takes them through a final set of comparisons. Gentlemen, court cool turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Face front. Front double bicep. Well, this is gonna be our final chance to get to see these guys compared. Phil Heath in the center on one side of him, Big Rami Mamdouelsbaye on the other side, the former Olympia champion of 2008, Dexter Jackson. William Bonac all the way off to the right side of your screen, and Sean Roden all the way off to the left side. These are the top five Relax. bodybuilders Rami in the world. And now what they're gonna do is they're gonna move Big Rami into the center. He is milking the crowd. The crowd is responding in a big way. During the commercial break, Bob Ciccarillo asked the audience who they thought was gonna win. He mentioned every single name. And the name that got the biggest applause was Big Rami. People are really excited about the possibility that we could potentially see the crowning of a 14th Mr. Olympia tonight. Something to get excited about, but Phil Heath is not gonna go quietly into the night, Dan. He, this is where his experience may come through. But we also might see a different Rami knowing the potential and the gravity of the situation. Let's find out who seizes the moment. I know we say this a lot, but I would not want to be holding that pencil and paper at the judges table right now. This is extremely close, extremely difficult to call. Uh, Big Rami has done Back. the work Black and uh, he has brought something extremely dangerous. I don't know if he's going to win tonight. He might, but I can tell you this right now. He's created a whole lot of intrigue as we begin the march to the 2018 Olympia. First things first, we got to crown a champion. Well, you can see Phil's just got better genetics, tinier waist. Uh, from the back, he just, he's lights out Side as far as I'm concerned. Set. However, Rami is super wide. The judges have got to take into account, conditioning does count for something, as you see in Phil, he's glutes and his hamstrings. But there's something to be said, Dan for getting as big as Big Rami is and still being able to have a very pleasing physique. Look at the side of his leg compared to Phil's. It is ridiculously large. We don't see that. It is ridiculous. He's 5'9". Dominoes in five. We knew Big Rami was special from the moment we first heard about him. His first couple outings at the Olympia were impressive. They were respectable, but we knew he had further that he needed to go. We knew that there was a piece of this puzzle that he hadn't found yet. It appears that he has found it. 
and now they're going to go through the most muscular, which is obviously going to be the image that you're going to see across social media over the next 24 hours as these guys hit their favorite most muscular in the final moments of Olympia judging their final chance to make their case. There's your 2008 Olympia champion, Dexter Jackson, Sean Roden, last year's runner-up, Phil Heath, Big Romney, William Bonac are going to catch their breath, and it's now time for a pose down. There's only one man on that stage that has beaten your reigning six-time defending champion, and that is Dexter the Blade Jackson. Everyone else has been a bridesmaid along the way, and they've all taken turns beating each other in competitions around the world on the bodybuilding circuit. However, Phil Heath, when he ventured outside the United States, has done nothing but win. He won over in India at the Shrew Classic. He won over in Spain at the Arnold Classic Europe, and he's focused since then only on the Mr. Olympia Championships. And in typical fashion, the champion is making his way to one side of the stage, and the contenders are chasing and who knows when the day will come where they will start chasing Big Rami. I have a feeling it's not too far down the road. The question is, is that going to start tonight? Phil Heath is an impressive champion. He's trying to win his seventh standout trophy, something that has only been done by Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, and Lee Haney in the history of the Mr. Olympia contest. Big Rami is having a whole lot of fun here in Las Vegas tonight. He knows what's at stake. Uh, his contingency of, of supporters have followed him here and uh, there's a whole lot of enthusiasm around the possibility that a new champion could be crowned. Um, seeing Sean Roden up there is also a credit to his ongoing consistency. He has been top five in the world for several years in a row right now, and, try, and, and apparently he will stay there, or certainly he will have a spot in the top six, or in the top five, rather. But uh, for Phil Heath, the question is, did he do enough? Big Rami comes over, he asks permission to make his way out into the crowd. Um, or I guess they're not going to authorize that permission. Or they, they, they seem to be on a different time constraint this year. Typically, they'll allow these guys out into the audience to bring the fans to their feet, to uh, take pictures with the fans during the post down. We're not going to see that tonight uh, for television considerations. Let me give you some perspective, Dan. Right now, these guys are physically egg exhausted. There's really very little gas to take. And now with this camera angle, you see the detail that, you, that, that Rami doesn't necessarily have in that muscularity shot that Phil actually is carrying. But this is when they're spent. They've been dieting in the anxiety and the dehydration. Uh, it is a very strenuous position to be in. They cannot wait to get this thing over. And, and I'm gonna caution the fans out there because I know there's fans of Big Rami that think he has this. The fans of Phil Heath thinks he has it. And you know what? On some level, you're both right because you both have a good case for winning this thing. There isn't a right or a wrong answer on this thing. These guys are having a lot of fun. They all bring something very different. What Big Rami brings right, is not what Phil Heath brings, guys, but they are both, or in the right. case of Big Rami, he is at the top of his game. Phil Heath obviously has a genetic predisposition to deliver something that that's remarkable. And the question is, is that genetic predisposition gonna be enough to hold off Big Romney for at least another year? Let me just tell you something. Whoever is the first runner up, this shouldn't be a boom right, in this, this audience. Is this is an amazing awards. event right now in this time in bodybuilding. To be a part of this, Dan, on this level, is very exciting to witness. There are no losers here. Presenting the fifth place award, representing Amazon Sports Nutrition, I'd like to welcome Stefania back to the stage. Please take the fifth place award, the check for $45,000 to your fifth place finisher. Sean Roden. All right, Sean Ray. There it is. Sean Roden is going to finish fifth place here at the 2017 Mr. Olympia. An outcome that certainly is not surprising at all based on the way the judges called this thing out through the course of the contest. A testament to Sean Roden for continuing to stay among the top five in the world where he has been for several years. And he'll stay there uh, once again. And uh, really one of the great bodybuilders on the planet. He fell just a little bit short. I know he wanted to bring something a little bit different but it didn't quite play out for him this year. But once again, $45,000 fifth place check. Well, look, he went from first to fifth. It's yeah, not a crime, man. I've been very familiar with second place in the Olympia and fifth place. It's a little bit different in the pocketbook, 
Sean Roden has nothing to be ashamed of. Presenting the fourth place award, representing Amazon Media Group, Mr. R.C. Casey. He will take the fourth place award, a check for $55,000, and present it to the Blade, Dexter Jackson. Once again, Dexter Jackson remains among the world's very best. He was third a year ago. He'll settle for fourth this year. He'll turn 48 years old in November, but apparently for the Blade, age means nothing. And the fans respect it. They appreciate it. And Dexter Jackson, I'm going to tell you right now, he's going to be back again next year. Well, there's nothing. Look at Dexter Jackson said, unless he falls out of the top six, he doesn't have a plan B. This is his life's calling. He's showing us his life's work. It's not that he's off, and it's not that he's old. He is in the elite of the elite. And to get forth on this stage tonight is a feat that very few bodybuilders can do. And I'll remind everyone that all of these guys, the entire top five, is already qualified for next year's Olympia. The Olympia bronze medal to your third place finisher, William Bonac. William Bonac continues to climb the ladder joins the very exclusive top three in the World Club, where he will be presented with an Olympia bronze medal, something I know you are very familiar with. Sean Ray, I think you have a few of those hanging in your office. I got three of them, Dan, and I gotta tell you something. That is a heavy little weight that he's got around his neck, and it is an accomplishment in his career that he'll be able to tell his grandchildren, because he is the number three bodybuilder, not just tonight, but in the world at his profession. That is a very good feeling to have. And now he's going to focus Phil on second Robbie or first. He's got his work cut out. On the line here tonight, folks, $400,000. The Sandow and the title of 2017, Mr. Olympia. Folks, a moment like this, I need a little bit of help up here. And I don't know about you, but I smell something cooking in the air. Phil looks concerned. Please welcome to the stage, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. The Rock brings that element to any audience. He's a big fan of bodybuilding, Dan. He has supported bodybuilding, and he puts his work in, working with George Farah and Hani Rambat throughout his career. Okay, okay. It's a very special night. So, how's everybody doing, by the way? This is a 2017 Olympia. It could be a hist an historic night. I said, how is everybody doing tonight? So, to these two gentlemen, I want to tell you uh, fr from my heart and to the, uh, the athletes who competed tonight, men, women, all incredibly inspiring, incredible, the discipline has been incredible, it's all the things and qualities uh, that we love and admire and respect about you guys. So on behalf of myself, everyone in this room and everyone around the world, I want to thank you for inspiring us to create the best person we could be daily and always be the hardest workers in the room. I love you too, thank you, I appreciate that, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the greatest bodybuilder on the planet, the recipient of the 2017 iconic Sandow Trophy, The seven time yeah. Mr. Olympia, Phil the Gift Heath. As spoken from the mouth of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, move over Arnold Schwarzenegger, you've got company. Phil Heath is now a seven time winner of bodybuilding's most prestigious title. He is Mr. Olympia once again, one victory shy of the all time record. But for tonight, Phil Heath will celebrate Number seven, 
alongside The Rock and the admiration of fans around the world. Big Rami, Mamdou Azbiye settles for second. It was a furious charge by the runner-up. Big Rami deserves all the respect in the world. He is not finished yet. Big Rami will be back next year to battle for this title. But for now, the night belongs to Phil the Gift Heath. Jim Mannion presents the Sandow Trophy, bodybuilding's most coveted prize, along with a very big $400,000 check. That is AMI CEO David Pecker, two fills left. And of course, Dwayne The Rock Johnson made this presentation all the more special by announcing it himself. Phil Heath from Colorado remains the best bodybuilder in the world. And Dan, again, he was pushed to the limits, rose to the occasion, and there's no doubt in my mind that this contest was won from the back. And that is Phil Heath's strength. If you don't take him out in his best poses, he is Mr. Olympia seven times. I didn't hear anybody boo, and uh, The Rock is taking it from here. Ladies and gentlemen, the champ, Phil Heath. Phil, congratulations. Uh, you have uh, you've done something very special. You've done something iconic. You've just made history. You have tied, you have tied the greatest bodybuilder of all time, Arnold Schwarzenegger's record at number seven. What's going through your mind? What's going through your heart? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just so thankful because when I started bodybuilding on October 8, 2002, I had no idea that I would be standing on this stage one day winning the Mr. Olympia, let alone, you know, being seven-time champion. When I got into this journey, you know, I was, you know, a little bit bitter because I didn't make it playing Division One basketball, and I was trying to find another outlet. And bodybuilding taught me how to be strong mentally, physically, and emotionally through all life's challenges. It taught me how, it taught me how to train hard when no one's in the room, when you're having a bad day, through death, through hardship, through anything that can go wrong. You, I always had the gym. I always had the gym. Over at armrests, I could train. <laughs> I could train any time of the day. There would be days I would train by myself or with my fiance Sheree, and I would be in there dying. I'd be in there dying, looking at those pictures in the gym of Schwarzenegger, well, of Coleman, of Haney, of Dorian, of everybody. And I would just tell myself, one more set, one more rep, just give it everything you've got so you can put yourself in the best position to win. And that's all we can do in life, people. Sometimes life is gonna serve you up some curveballs, but I challenge each and every one of you to step in that batter's box and take a damn swing. Just take a swing. And it ain't gonna always work out for you. It ain't gonna always work out. Look, I just beat some incredible athletes. They are some of the best athletes I've ever competed against. Please give them a round of applause, please because they have made this, they have made this so hard. But I can tell you what, my faith in God, my family, my trainer, Honey Rambod, I love you, man. I've had one trainer, one. I did my first pro show in 2006 at the Colorado yep. Pro. We did the New York Pro after that, and we won both of them. And a lot of people thought, you know what, this guy's gonna be something. And Honey always told me, Phil, you have to understand something. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And a measurement of a man is when he gets knocked down, not when he's winning. So I lost a few times. <laughs> and he always reminded me just to keep on going and be the hardest worker in the room, just like what you say. And when people tell you you can't, you don't look at them. You don't need to look at them. You look in the mirror. And you ask yourself, do you give it your all? You look at the mirror and you ask yourself, do you have another rep? You ask yourself, can I go to work when I'm pissed off because I'm about to get fired or something bad happened or lost my girlfriend or whatever it is? 
You ask yourself, do you have the guts to go after it when no one is watching, no one's patting you on the back, and no one is liking your stuff on freaking social media? If you got the guts to go after it, you can put yourself in the best position to win, and that's what I did through this entire prep. It was not easy. A lot of people say, oh, Phil, he's got genetics and this and that. I put that God-given talent to work each and every damn day in the gym. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for the Olympia. I'm so thankful to be a bodybuilder because it wasn't meant for me to play basketball. I mean, look at me, I'm short as hell. You know, it doesn't work out like that. God had a different plan, obviously, and I'm glad that I listened. And I'm glad that I never gave up. And I know there's a lot of incredible athletes wanting to kick my ass next year, but I know this, winning is habitual. If you care about your success more than anyone else in the room, I promise you this, you will be successful at some point in time. But the goal is, is that when you are successful, that you don't just hide it for yourself. You don't just hold it for yourself. You share those experiences and perspectives with everybody else so then they can get theirs. So then they can feel the confidence to go after their dreams. And I'm just proud to be a seven time Mr. Olympia. And like the, and like the great Oak said, Next year, I'll be back. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Mr. Olympia, the king of bodybuilding, Phil the Gift Heath.